वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन इन एक्टिव एजुकेशन क्लासेस आज हम लोग केमिस्ट्री के केमिकल रिएक्शन और इक्वेशन के कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस करेंगे ये क्लास टेन सी और आई स्टैंडर्ड नाइन के लिए दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस नाउ लेट्स कम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लेट नाइट्रेट सोल्यूशन इज एडेड टू ए टेस्ट ट्यूब कंटेनिंग पोटाशियम आयोडाइड सोल्यूशन देन यू हैव टू राइट नेम ऑफ एंड कलर ऑफ द कंपाउंड प्रेसिपिटेटेड एंड सेकेंड राइट द बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन एंड थर्ड नेम द टाइप ऑफ द रिएक्शन जस्टिफाई तो वट इज अवर आंसर फर्स्ट वेन लेड नाइट्रेज इज एडेड टू पोटाशियम पोटाशियम आयोडाइड सोल्यूशन देन येल्लो कलर प्रेसपिटेट देन येल्लो कलर प्रेसपिटेट ऑफ लेड आयोडाइड फॉर्म येल्लो कलर प्रेसपिटेट ऑफ लेड आयोडाइड फॉर्म एंड दैट इज द इक्वेशन इक्वेशन इज पी बी एन ओ थ्री प्लस के आई गिव्स पी बी ओ दैट इज येल्लो प्रेसिपिटेट so that's why it is known as precipitation reaction and since pb no3 and ki exchange their radicals their two they, these two compound exchange their radicals so these are known as double displacement reaction so these reaction is precipitation reaction as well as double displacement reaction precipitation reaction and double displacement reaction both Let's come in question number two. Question number two: Decomposition reaction required energy either in the form of the heat or light or electricity for breaking down the reactants. Write one equation for each decomposition reaction where energy is supplied in the form of heat, light, and electricity. Now let's come. First is in the presence of heat. So the reaction in the presence of heat is calcium carbonate when heated is decomposed into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Similarly, decomposition by light, sunlight, or any electricity light. Then, uh, if H two O two hydrogen peroxide is decomposed in the presence of light and gives water and oxygen gas, this is the decomposition reaction in the presence of light. Next is decomposition reaction involved by electricity. Electricity means by passing electrical energy. So, when aluminium oxide, that means alumina, when we pass the electricity, gives Al. and oxygen aluminum and oxygen this is reaction this is decomposition reaction in the presence of electricity now let's come in the question number 3 now what three name the type of chemical reaction represented by the following equation some equations are given you have to write the name of the chemical equation name of the ty uh, types of reaction now calcium oxide plus h2o this combine and give single product that is the single product calcium hydroxide so it is known as combination reaction and second one is this displace in this uh, exchange their radical these two compounds barium chloride and aluminum sulfate exchange their radicals and so it is known as double displacement reaction and here we are observing ki barium sulfate precipitated barium sulfate is precipitated so it is also precipitation reaction so second one is precipitation double displacement reaction now come in next question next question is what is the reduction reaction so what is reduction now reduction of the those chemical reaction in which oxygen uh, remove hydrogen gain this is known as reduction reaction okay so what is reduction reaction addition of hydrogen addition of hydrogen and removal of oxygen and removal of oxygen that is known as reduction reaction so next question the you have to find the oxidation reaction now come in next feo2 F, fe2o3 gives uh, fe2o3 plus al gives al2o3 and fe in this reaction fe lose oxygen fe2o3 lose oxygen and converted into fe so it is a reduction reaction and the another way al gain oxygen and uh, change into al2o3 so it is a oxidation reaction so fe2o3 uh, fe2o3 reduced and al oxidized uh, next is pbo plus c to so pbo loses oxygen and converted into pb so it is a reduction reaction and carbon gain oxygen and converted into carbon dioxide so it is a oxidation reaction in this case pbo lose oxygen so it is reduced and carbon gain oxygen so it is oxidized 
तो कार्बन ऑक्सीडाइज इनटू सीओ टू नेक्स्ट कम इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाई इज रेस्पिरेशन कंसीडर्ड एन एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन तो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन मींस द एनर्जी एक्सचेंज दैट मींस एनर्जी रिलीज तो व्हेन वी आर टेकिंग व्हेन वी आर ब्रीथिंग दिस ऑक्सीजन रिएक्ट्स विथ ग्लूकोज और स्टार्च व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर बॉडी व्हिच इज टेकिंग एज अ फूड एंड दिस गिव्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर एंड एनर्जी सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नोन एज एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन तो इन एनी रेस्पिरेशन रिएक्शन दिस फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस दिस दिस इज नोन एज ग्लूकोज C6H12O6 रिएक्ट्स विथ ऑक्सीजन O2 एंड गिव्स CO2 H2O एंड इट रिलीज एनर्जी सिंस इट इज रिलीज एनर्जी सो इट इज अ एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन सो दिस रिएक्शन रेस्पिरेशन इज एन एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंड दिस इज द केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड नेक्स्ट इज वाई द राइट द केमिकल नेम एंड फॉर्मूला ऑफ द ब्राउन गैस प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द थर्मल डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ लेट नाइट्रेट न जस्ट नाउ वी हैव सीन द लेट नाइट्रेट लेट नाइट्रेट प्रोड्यूस वेन इट इज थर्मल डिकम्पोज दैन इट इज गिव नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड गैस एंड नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड इज ब्राउन इन कलर दिस इज द ब्राउन इन कलर so which gas is brown in color nitrogen dioxide is brown in color now come in the next question next question is why we are putting why we are why do chips manufacturers flush bag of chip with gas which has nitrogen to so chip chip chips manufacture usually flush bag of chips with gas such as the nitrogen because atmospheric oxygen can react with chips and may cause rancidity may cause a change color change the color and change the taste and it is known as rancidity so to cut the con contact between the air and chips nitrogen gas is used which do prevent its oxidation that means rancidity now come in question number 6 that is define balanced chemical equation why should an equation be balanced so what is balanced chemical equation balanced chemical equation has an equal number of atoms of different elements in the reactant and products so what is balanced chemical equation when the number of atoms of the reactant and products are same that is known as number of atoms of the different elements of the reactant and products are same that is known as balanced chemical equation to obey the law of conservation of mass we balance the equation now come in the next balance this equation layer of phosphorus phosphorus reacts with phosphorus bonds in the presence of chlorine phosphorus always represented by p4 and chlorine always represented by c cl2 phosphorus always represented by p4 and chlorine always represented by cl2 and after gives after that it gives pcl5 and that is the balanced equation next is when uh, burning of natural gas natural gas means methane when methane burns in the presence of oxygen then carbon dioxide and water gives and it also releases heat energy so when methane when methane burns gives the carbon dioxide water and heat energy that is the balanced chemical equation for burning of natural gas next one is the process of respiration just now we have seen so when glucose reacts with water then gives glucose react with oxygen and water it gives carbon dioxide water and energy when glucose reacts with oxygen and water it gives carbon dioxide water and energy that is the balanced chemical equation for the respiration process now come in the next Next question number seven. Why does the color of the copper sulfate solution change when an iron nail is dipped in it? So color of the copper sulfate solution is blue. But when we dip the iron nails in it, this color slightly change and it is changed into light green in color, pale green in color. So when iron displaces copper because iron is more reactive as compared to copper so iron displaces copper from sulfate solution and gives pale green colored solution that is FeSO4 solution and reddish brown copper metal gets deposited as a form of precipitate okay so that is the chemical equation for the reaction iron with copper sulfate and this color of the copper 
is color of the copper is reddish brown that is the reddish brown okay that is the reddish brown next is next question number 8 hydrogen being a highly inflammable gas and oxygen means a supporter of oxygen means a supporter of combustion yet water which is compound made by the hydrogen and oxygen is used to distinguish fire why because when any substance react they change their properties so that's why when oxygen it is the because the property of the compound of water are different from the properties of constituents element hydrogen and oxygen when hydrogen and oxygen combine and water gives water but this property of water completely change from the hydrogen and oxygen that's why it helps to the um, burn the fire it helps to uh, uh, that's why water is help to um, extinguish as a fire now next question number 9 question number 9 is what is mean by the chemical reaction what is chemical reaction the chemical reaction mean the reaction representing chemical change is known as chemical reaction the reaction representing the chemical change is known as chemical reaction and what is the meaning of the another uh, what is the meaning of this change now here is given two types of arrow consider the above mentioned two chemical equation with two different kind of arrows upwards and downwards along with the product what do these two different arrows indicate now see the upwards arrow uh, upwards arrow indicates evolution of evolve of gas okay and the downwards arrow indicates insoluble precipitated substance now come in question number 10 question number 10 is why is respiration considered an exothermic reaction define the terms oxidation and reduction identify the substance that is oxidized and reduced in the chemical reaction following chemical reaction just now i have given i said uh, why respiration is considered an exothermic reaction because uh, it evolve heat during the respiration so it is an exothermic reaction now next question oxidation is a process this now we know ki what is the reduction reduction uh, reduction oxidation is just reverse the oxidation mm, oxidation is just reverse the reduction in oxidation process oxygen added hydrogen remove or loss on electron and loss of electron takes place that is known as oxidation and reduction means hydrogen added oxygen remove and gain of electron takes place that is the reduction okay now come in the next question which one is oxidized uh, um, oxidized and which one is reduced now in this question copper cuo loses its oxygen and converted into copper only copper so this um, cuo converted into only copper so it is a reduction reaction and zn uh, gain oxygen and converted into zn o so it is a oxidation reaction so zn get oxidized because it uh, gain oxygen and copper oxide get reduced because it lose oxygen so which one is oxidized zn oxidized and copper oxide reduced so children i think this question helpful for you if it is very helpful for you then you mm, subscribe this channel press the like button and you uh, just you comment me ki how you how you feel from this question thank you